If you select the building pad, you can see that it's essentially just a slab. And it has element properties where you can change its material. You go into its type properties and its structure. You can add just as many layers and materials as you would in any other type of floor. Uh, if it were an asphalt parking lot with sand underneath or uh, even concrete or uh, whatever it needs to be. I'll go ahead and drop it back down. Another tool for editing the site is the split surface tool. I'll close out of the section view. And in the site, if we want to clean this up um, to, to be closer to our property, we can split to trim around the edges uh, to clean up the topography site. To do this, go to the masking site tab, choose split surface, and then select the topography. Doing this brings you into an edit mode where you can draw out the borders of your topography. Make sure it's a closed loop and when you're done hit finish split surface and what it does is this, it divides your uh, topography into two different regions where you can change their material independently by um, selecting them its element properties or um, in this case to trim it I just want to select the, uh, the outside region and delete it away. You can even use the split surface tool to divide it into uh, different regions for putting the site on different phases or um, dividing it up into different properties and views. You can always re-merge them again by using merge surfaces. Clicking on that, it'll ask you to select the first region and then selecting the second region blends them back together. To start placing components on your site, you'll notice a parking component and a site component. Parking component is pretty straightforward. Clicking on that tool, you can start placing them where you need them and copying them out. Each individual par parking component will have uh, its own element properties that you can change its size and angle. Trees are a uh, site component, which if you click on that, you might not have any loaded in your project. So just click yes to load them in and browse for them in, your, in the library. Um, and in the planting folder, I have RPC tree deciduous. Opening that will load it into the project and uh, immediately bring you into the tool where you can start uh, clicking to place these trees. As you place them on the surface, it's actually placing it at the proper elevation uh, um, along the topography and the contours. You can select individual trees or groups of them and using the type selector at the top of the screen, pull down and change to different species and varieties. You'll notice by selecting each individual tree in its element properties, it'll list its size, which you can change by going to click edit type. And it also lists the species that it is. All of these um, values and information can show up in a schedule if you want to create one later. And you'll notice if you go to an elevation view that these trees don't just show up in plan, but they also have elevations to them as well. I'll go back to the plan to stretch out my elevation so it covers the entire site. By stretching out the view, um, you'll see that the, the trees are placed um, at the elevation where I place them, and um, they also have um, uh, a, a view to them. You can change the graphic styles at the bottom to go from a shaded to a, a shaded with edges. Finally, going back to the site plan, you can start annotating it. You can label the contours with the label contours tool by 
clicking at the one point, dragging it out, and clicking again, you can start placing contour labels that automatically place uh, aligned with the lines and give the proper elevation of the contours. You can always select this uh, contour labels and uh, move them into position where you need them. And by grabbing the blue handles at each end, you can stretch over more or less contours to label them. Finally, um, more annotation can be found uh, in the annotation tab. You can always place spot elevations by using the spot elevations tag, clicking and then dragging it out. By selecting it in the options bar, you can, you can turn the leader on and off. There are also spot coordinates, clicking on that. You can place those as well. And um, you can place spot slopes. All of this is located under the Annotate tab. The Spot Slope tool will actually um, give you the correct slope of it and uh, a direct direction arrow that is perpendicular to the slope contour. And last but not least, zooming out, is the Property Line tool. Clicking on that, I usually choose Create by Sketching. Brings you uh, back into a sketch mode where you can draw it out. And closing off the loop, hit finish property line, and it uh, brings it in.